Welcome to the new video tutorial for Michelangelo Lite version 1.1. When you launch the application for the very first time, you'll be prompted to enable location services. Please select OK to continue. A video introduction will follow. You can skip the intro at any time by touching anywhere on the screen. In the first page of the app, you have two primary buttons, kitchens and baths and an additional set of secondary buttons to provide additional information about Michelangelo Evolution in Stone, our services and products. On the far bottom right, you'll be able to turn the music on and off. From the main menu, tap Kitchens. The Kitchen submenu features three kitchen layouts. Tap Kitchen 2 to launch the virtual showroom. Michelangelo Light is a three-dimensional virtual showroom. You can rotate in any direction, from right to left, left to right, pinch the screen to zoom in, and pinch the screen in the opposite direction to zoom out. You can go up and you can also go down. To disable reflections, tap and hold anywhere on the screen. Release to get reflections back on. In this page, you will find three different navigation menus. The top navigation bar, the right navigation bar, and the left navigation bar. The top navigation menu provides you with the ability to Turn Backsplash on or off. Ability to remove the island. And temporarily disable and remove from the screen all navigation menus for better browsing. The left navigation menu is the menu you will be using most often. This menu enables you to change Accents, Backsplash, Cabinet, Countertop, Floor, Island Cabinet, Island Countertop, and the Wall. Let's start designing your dream kitchen by tapping the Accent button. Within the Accent menu, you can choose from many different materials. Granite, marble, onyx, precious stone, quartz, and travertine. Within the granite category, we have many vendors to choose from. Let's select K&K Marble Imports. Once selected, the corresponding company logo and products will appear on the bottom of the screen. To visualize more products, scroll your finger from right to left on the product bar. Select the granite color of your choice and voila, see the changes take place instantly. Next, let's change the backsplash. 
This time we'll choose a glass surface. Let's select Doll Tile. As before, once the selection is made, the corresponding company logo and products will appear on the bottom of the screen. Let's choose this one. And the backsplash has now been changed. Let's tap the cabinet button to change the wall cabinets. We'll then proceed with the default selection, a laminate surface from Kitchen Magic. Let's select Frosty White for our cabinet color. We'll continue designing our kitchen by choosing a marble countertop from Bundles. Hmm, let's try this one. Next, let's change our floors. Select Hardwood. And this time, let's try a few combinations. Mmm, this one? Or maybe this one? Mmm, not quite. Let's go with Rustic. To browse products from other vendors, simply tap the arrows next to the company logos. With your finger, Swipe the left menu upward to select the island cabinet. We'll make our island the same color as our wall cabinet. We'll finish our island with the same marble countertop selected previously. I like that. I think I'll save it. To store our finished kitchen, let's tap the Save button on the right menu bar. Let's give it a name and let's call it My Beautiful Kitchen. Let's take a closer look at our finished kitchen. Let's get a second opinion. Let's email a friend. In the email section, we have a picture of our finished kitchen and a summary of vendors and products selected from each category. Tap the recipient field and type in the recipient's email address. Tap send and you're done. Tap the share button to share your creation via Facebook or Twitter. Michelangelo provides you with the ability to receive multiple estimates from nearby professionals based on the products you have selected. Tap the Get a Quote button to start the process. On the left side of this screen, you are presented with the summary of your product selections and a screenshot of your composition. Use your finger to scroll up and down the summary list and verify that everything is correct before sending your request. To receive an accurate quote, complete the form on the right side of the screen. Enter your name, address, your phone number, email, and the date you would like your project completed by. For guidance on how to properly measure your kitchen or bath, Tap the information button located on the right side of this field to access a diagram on how to measure.
The project snapshot field enables you to attach a picture of the job site with your quote request. Please take a wide angle shot of your kitchen or bathroom whenever possible. Then check what product or service you're interested in, whether it's a floor, countertop, cabinet, or backsplash. Check as many fields that apply and use the additional info box to describe your project needs. Once complete, press Send to submit your quote request. Within a few hours, you could receive as many as 10 bids from nearby professionals based on the products you've selected and your project's dimensions. Wasn't that easy? Click here to go back. You can resume working on previously saved projects by tapping the Portfolio button on the right side of the screen. Use your finger to swipe across the screen and browse all of your saved projects. You can also use the arrows in the upper right corner to go from screen to screen. You can sort by date, by name, delete individual projects, or all of them at once. Once you've located the project you want, tap the image to reopen it in the virtual showroom. Once opened, you can resume work on this project. Tapping the Go Back button takes you back to the main menu. This time we'll select Bathroom, we'll select Bathroom 2, Swipe your fingers diagonally to get a better view of this bathroom. Pinch in to zoom in. Tap the Portfolio button to reopen a previously saved project. Swipe your fingers diagonally to get a better view of this bathroom. We'll make a few changes to this project. First, we'll remove the backsplash. Then, we'll tap the wall button and change the wall color to our liking. Swipe your fingers diagonally to get a better view of this bathroom. Pinch the screen to zoom in. And pinch the screen in the opposite direction to zoom out. I like that. Lastly, tap the Nearby Professional button. The flashing light blue button in the middle of the screen indicates your current location. The rest of the pins on the map are color-coded by business type. Green for interior designers, purple for stone yards, yellow for tile showroom, blue for stone fabricators, and red for kitchen and bathroom cabinets. You can filter your search by business type by tapping the corresponding button. You can also zoom in directly on the map and select a color-coded pin to retrieve information about that business or use the list provided at the bottom of the screen. Tapping on the business address will provide you with turn-by-turn -turn directions, while tapping on their email address provides you with the ability to communicate with the business directly. This concludes our video tutorial for Michelangelo Light 1.1.